Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. Good morning, everybody. It's June the 19th of the Duck Adventure, and I, I was up really early this morning. I've been working on a whole bunch of other things, but I want to show you uh, the gosling here that uh, we had to rescue yesterday. Um, now, I'm going to try to give you a good shot here. Um, I'm going to can't get uh, a really good, she's in a, a tray here, okay there, uh, now we can get a good shot. Now, um, this poor little duckling yesterday, or gosling I should say yesterday, struggled for over 14 hours uh, and I had to help it multiple times yesterday uh, to get out of the, the shell. It uh, uh, And now uh, he's been all night uh, just laying there. Now if you notice on the end he's trying to get a good shot here of his rear. You can see where the egg sac was, or the yolk sac, and now it is slowly going down, um, so he's still absorbing, but he was trapped and it was shrink wrapping, like he busted through the shell, um, but he was still, you know, there was some shrink wrapping effect and I was misting and, and loosening up the, uh, the yolk. Now he, uh, you know, he keeps flipping around or flipping over and, you know, but he's doing the dirty chicken shaking, so I'm, uh, we'll see how today goes. I've got the, uh, you know, the humidity right now is about, it's 74% um, in the incubator, or in the hatcher. Uh, the temperature is right on mark, uh, so I don't know what's going on. I'm, uh, I, I'm, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a residual poisoning from that, that incubator, but I'll give you an update on the, uh, the Chinese uh, manufacturer. Those guys are scum, scum of the earth. Um, they've been wasting my time back and forth with, and you know, first of all, they wouldn't answer emails for weeks, uh, they wouldn't answer, but you know, since I posted that follow-up feedback on eBay and they've had no sales since I uh, posted that follow-up feedback with the link to the video of the incubator dying, um, now they're, you know, they want to do something. Well, this weekend, you know, we did a Skype back and forth, the laptop in front of there showing them the, the fan that wasn't working. They promised me they were going to send a fan on Monday uh, to replace it. Well, last night on Skype, I, I, you know, they, they tried to Skype me again. I was, you know, in bed, uh, but I read that this morning they, they messaged me on Skype. Now they want me to do some tests. They haven't even sent the replacement fan. They want me to tear the incubator apart while it's got eggs in it. Uh, you know, th this company's unbelievable. I'm telling you, anybody out there that, uh, you know, that is a Rund Metal Company, R-U-N-D-E uh, Metal Company in China, uh, absolute scum of the earth, uh, you know, selling uh, one, I think, toxic, you know, incubator. Not only is it defective equipment, uh, there's something wrong. Something is going on in that incubator that's, uh, you know, it's either the foam or it's the paint or something is, is killing the eggs in the incubator. I'm, uh, I'm so pissed. Uh, I'm really upset. Uh, you know, they've destroyed the duck adventure this year from what I wanted to do. Like if I would have had, uh, you know, uh, uh, if, if the incubator would have worked, I'd, uh, you know, I'd probably be sitting on a thousand ducks right now, a minimum a thousand ducklings. Uh, I mean, I'm lucky if I got 300 in the barn. You know, they've, uh, they've seriously screwed up the duck adventure, boys and girls. Um, and anybody out there, uh, be warned by these people. And believe me, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to put a link below so everybody knows uh, this company, uh, so there's no ifs, buts, or what's, who they are, and what they've done. Now, below this video, there's a link to them, and you, you know, this is the warning. Stay away from them. Well, this little gosling here, uh, man, I mean, I'm inside working on the computer, dealing with some different things uh, that I'm working on here with the, this incubator, and... Um, I can just hear him like he's just constantly, you know, just the, the, the like, it's like a distressed chirp. Um, and he's, you know, he's just uh, like this has been over 12 hours that, uh, you know, he's just been laying there doing the, you know, the vibration thing. And, you know, every time I see that vibration thing, it's like, that ain't a good thing. I, I have yet to see, uh, I, I actually, I cannot remember, uh, you know, a duck or a gosling or anybody doing the vibration like this and, and surviving. So it's really sad listening to him. But on another note, well, but you can just hear him. And like the yolk sac is still not totally um, absorbed yet. Man, I hate seeing stuff like that. You know, you know I helped him out last night. You know, I broke the shell enough so that he could crawl out, and he crawled out. You know, got out of the uh, the shell, and then just lay. He's been laying there for. Like it's been, it's oh, it's 12 hours, over 12 hours. Actually, uh, it's about 16 hours now he's been doing this. Oh, poor little thing. 
All right, so uh, what's happening here now? I figured, you know, since the uh, you know the incubator is, you know, it looks like it's killing my eggs or killing the ducklings. I don't know what's going on. I'm I'm going to do uh, I'm going to take the eggs out of it. The room back here is warm. I've got the room warmed up, and I'm going to put the eggs on the table. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do a swap here. I'm gonna I'm gonna change that fan right now and uh, you know and see. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing this it's just to waste my time. So we'll give it a try. So I'm gonna uh, do a swap here, and I'm gonna. This is not a fan that they sent to me. This is a fan that I bought as an extra when I bought the unit, um, and hopefully uh, you know it works. All right, I've got all the eggs out. I'm working quick here, so this is uh, just a quick update here. Look at that for a mess of eggs. Right? Look at that. That's just sickening. Them. Might have to write all this off. All right, so I'm gonna rip out. Uh, I'm gonna do electrical test here and rip out this fan. Well, it's been. Uh, I have had the incubator now. It's been 11 minutes and 22 seconds here, and uh, got everything out of it. Um, I've got. I had to reset the parameters on it so that it would turn off the heat, so that I could get my hand back there. Uh, I already burnt my hand once on the element. I'm totally brain dead there. I was inside working and. Uh, anyways, I, I put my hand against the side of the element uh, while it was plugged in because I'm doing a power test uh, to see what's going on. Now, there is power going to the fan from the controller. I've already checked the voltage on the back of the controller and it has uh, there is 220 volts coming out of the back of the controller. So now I'm going to uh, see if I get power to the back of the fan. Uh, just in case, you know, who knows, maybe the wire melted, uh, I don't know. But uh, we're, we're, you know, I'm going through the process of illumination uh, to get to the fan, and if the fan uh, it has no voltage at the fan, then I know there's something with the wiring, and it's not the fan. But anyways, it's uh, I just burned my hand. So I'm just waiting for it to cool down. I had to turn all the parameters down uh, on the thermostat, uh, you know, so that I could work with the power on, which is freaking dangerous Chinese stuff with no ground. Um, so, you know, wish me luck, I don't get electrocuted. Well, it's confirmed. Uh, the uh, the fan is dead. It's red hot. The fan there's power going to it. Fan motors uh, like burning hot. You can hear a real low uh, vibration hum. Uh, so I've got to rip the fan out. So here we go. All right, I got the fan out. Um, you wouldn't believe it. The Chinese, they uh, this little piece, this spacer, this high tech. I'm gonna this for precision uh, equipment here. I don't even know what. It's a spacer of some sort that fell out. And I've got to figure out where it went. Um, and the screw stripped. I actually had to uh, take that the piece off because the screw stripped. So they stripped it when they put it together in the factory. Unbelievable. All right, that was absolutely. Uh, I can't believe it. You know the Chinese when they make things. One, it's aluminum wire. Big no-no. Two. Don't give any extra wire. The wire was exactly exactly the length it needed to be. I could, and it actually really really needed to it need, re needed it needed to be uh, uh, restripped so that I had some more wire to you know to work with. I couldn't even do that. That's how short it was. So, anyways, here we go. Um, I gotta plug it in here. I gotta, I've got the uh, transformer unplugged here. I'm I'm working double safety here. Okay, so we got it. Uh, Oh, look at this, the fan's working. All right. Okay, let me get her loaded up. And I'll give you the story about what a mess it was inside. Okay, start to finish, 67 minutes and 16 seconds. The eggs had to be uh, out. So I'm hoping 67 minutes and, you know, 66 minutes out uh, and by the time this gets warmed up so it's probably going to be like a good 69 minutes before we're back to normal heat again but uh i i if i you know the thing is this chinese factory absolutely no warranty coverage and that you know that's why i bought extra parts when i bought the incubator thankfully i did but i can't believe it like 60 you know it was a nasty job plus i'll just show you something too that little tiny piece of metal they couldn't even make the the bracket like they, they made the bracket on the back they couldn't even make the bracket the right size they uh i'll show you here i'll grab this thing here this uh i'll put it on the table here so you can i can explain to you what they did okay the receiving end of this was too big so they had that little uh, that little tiny piece of metal that you had to jam inside there well it turned out the replacement fan <laughs> you're not going to believe this i actually had to run over to the garage and drill it out because the uh the hole wasn't lined up that was going through. So I put the whole unit inside the uh, the incubator, like that, actually that right there, that's, that's I had to re-drill it out because when I went to put the fan in, the holes didn't match up. I was like, what are the chances of this? I took the fan back out, got a look at it, and the hole wasn't lined up. So even the fan 
was made by another cheap Chinese factory that couldn't even get it right. So anyways, I had to drill it out. So it was like, you know, we the eggs were, uh, you know, without heat. The warm, the room's warm. It's not really warm. It's about 80 degrees, 79 degrees in here right now, uh, which is, I don't know, about 24, 26 Celsius. Um, the eggs still felt warm to the touch. So I just got, I was hoping that, uh, you know, that this isn't, uh, well, we don't even know if the eggs are alive, so. Anyways, I, I don't believe this. Uh, so anybody watching this video that's thinking about buying one of these incubators, don't. Don't even think of it. That Rund Metal Company, uh, R-U-N-D-E Metal Company out of China, run from them. Uh, they don't stand behind their warranty. You know, they say three-year warranty when they when they sell it to you. It's not. It's basically, you know, uh, good luck, you loser. Um, and if I wouldn't have bought extra parts, like where am I going to find a 220 volt fan? I would never find a 220 volt ceiling fan, uh, and especially with a mount like that, because our mounts aren't like that. We have a, our, you know, every ceiling fan I've ever seen has never been a shaft mount like that. So, you know, if I wouldn't have bought the extra fan, we, I would have, you know, I would still have that other fan laying in there and, you know, doing, a, you know, which it was, a, it was a big room, it was a room fan, so it was moving enough air inside. Um, but you know, who knows? Maybe, you know, I've got air vents. I've had the air vents open. Uh, you know, right. Oh God, it's been three weeks now. Uh, extra air vents open. I got four of them open. Uh, you know, there's you know the exhaust fan runs every. Uh, I think it's every 60 or every 30 minutes for 90 seconds. So you know, it changes the air in there. You know, I, I'm hoping that this uh, makes a difference. Who knows? Maybe maybe it's too late and uh, it's a write off. Who, I, I don't know. I know one thing: the Chinese have really screwed up the Duck Adventure this year. So there's the alarm. I got I got to deal with this. You're not going to believe this. I, it's well, the timer's still going. It's 72 minutes. Okay, there you go. 72 minutes. So how long is this thing being running? I don't know. Four minutes. The fan has already got a grinding noise to it. I'll uh, just, I'll give you a sh listen here. Do you believe it? It, it was it, when I first plugged it in. It was just air noise. Now I've got a grinding sign sound. So I don't even know if this replacement fan is going to work. This this is a nasty, nasty joke on Matt. It's a cruel joke, actually. I don't believe this. Uh, so now i got to really watch this thing because, you know, if it's grinding, it could just die any second. Well, our little gosling here, he uh, is having a hard time. Actually, what, what the last, I don't know, maybe the last six hours he's been struggling here and I finally inter I had to intervene. Uh, I took him out. And I had 105 degree water here, and I gave him a uh, bath, and I cleaned him up. And what was what was wrong was he had a uh, a whole bunch of shell stuck to his back, which was causing his leg not to come up so that he could flip himself over. So um, I just put, I just uh, gave him a, um, a warm bath, cleaned him up, got the the shell that was stuck on him off him, and uh, then dried him off with a, a hand towel here. And it was so funny; he was biting me and. Uh, you know, I hope he makes it. He's so cute. Actually, he's butt ugly, but um, he was so cute the way he was biting me. Which, considering that these geese, uh, uh, a male can weigh up to 30 pounds, uh, I hope he likes me if he's a male because I don't want a 30 pound goose biting me. But he uh, was seriously, I'll try to get a better shot for you. He's uh, he's in bad shape. He's, he's uh, struggling. He's a weak one. But if he makes it, who knows? But now he's uh, he's right side up now because the, his whole back was covered in shell uh, and it was crusted on and he couldn't uh, his leg wouldn't uh, move uh, only one leg was moving so I, I got his the, the shell off of him loosened it off and then dried him off and uh, now his leg could move and he's sitting upright so poor little guy he was uh, trying to flip himself over uh, so much that his his uh, the leg that was moving kept rubbing underneath his uh, neck and he, he wore off the fuzz uh, uh, the bottom side of his neck that's actually what caught my attention was I looked and I saw the bald spot and I said okay this is not good so but I've got uh, I added some more trays with water in them because for some reason even with the humidity generator running non-stop uh, the, the fan running uh, you know the water heater running I can't get the humidity to go up today. I don't know. Uh, now it is rather cool out, uh, and the humidity is really low today. The atmospheric uh, humidity is like maybe 20% right now. It's very dry today, uh, which is sort of weird after all the rain we've had. But it's very cool outside, so the humidity is very uh, low. So I think that's the only thing. And 
the uh, the incubator that I've replaced the fan on here has got a weird smell. So I don't know what's going on now. I'm uh, I'm baffled. I'm baffled. I don't know. So, anyways, uh, the Duck Adventure curb balls. Well, I, I think I finally have got the uh, humidity problem figured out. I I tried trays. I, I did everything you can imagine, and uh, the trays weren't making any difference. So I, I was in town, and today, to top it off, today where our relative humidity today is like 30%, so it's really dry out, which makes no sense after the amount of rain we've had. But, uh, you know, the ground's soaking wet, everything's soaking wet outside, but the air is really dry and it's really cool. So, uh, today uh, when I went in to return that little fan that uh, didn't work, and I had to wash it up and lied and said I never used it, but anyways, uh, I went back to the big department store that deserved to get it back. Anyways. While I was in another department store, I went to the, the humidifier section and I got myself a steam humidifier. Now it was hard to find one that was under a thousand watts because that's all my controller can run. Uh, this is a 400 watt uh, steam humidifier and uh, I don't know if you can see the steam coming off of it. Uh, but it's actually, it's uh, producing steam right now. Uh, it shows it better with the lights on but it's... Uh, the humidity uh, today, all day, was uh, like 50%, 48%. It was just brutal today. It was so dry. I could not get up. I had every tray in there full of water. Uh, but it's just now, as you can see, I've got it up. It's uh, 62.5. And it's 62 on uh, this one here. So um, it's climbing. And I just installed it here. So um, this, you know, it's, this should solve the problem. It's a constant steam. It's running off the controller. Um, and it holds a gallon of water, so that means I'm gonna have to fill it twice a day, more than likely. But uh, you know, I, I just today of all you know, after everything we've had, we got the Muscovies in there who need high humidity, and today relative humidity is like 30 percent. It was unbelievable. Like it's dry. My lips are dry today. It's uh, and after all the rain we've had, actually here now you can see the steam. So there's a hot mist, uh, hot steam coming off of it. And, uh, you know, that doesn't get the humidity up. It's supposed to be, uh, according to the box, it says that this uh, humidifier is good for a, uh, a 500 square foot room. So, you know, if it's good for a 500 square foot room, uh, you know, which I find it hard to believe 500 square feet. It's quite a lot of area for a little humidifier, but that's what the box says. So, well, we'll see what it does for a four by four, uh, seven foot tall box. Uh, We'll see. See you tomorrow morning.